Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Patty Kills here. I am back with a brand new video. This is the NHL 20 best player builds video. So this is the best build for World of Chell. If if um the, obviously the game modes for World of Chell are ones nat a ones eliminator, threes eliminator, or EAC Chell. So these are the best builds for those three game modes. This is I'm gonna be including three builds, not five, but only three builds. So I had, so the first build I have um, is this sniper. But before we do break down this build. I want you guys to drop a like. Let's go for 50 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. You guys have been killing the support recently. And uh, just if you guys are new, just subscribe. And uh, let's get right in this video. Now, quick disclaimer. If the beta does... Because I'm, I'm recording this on the last time of the beta. I don't know if it's going to be extended or not. If it doesn't be extended, I'm sorry. I'm still going to upload this video, though. Because it's a good video for the actual game. But we got this uh, player... Uh, this sniper. So this sniper is pretty good. So far, I think snipers are okay in the game. I made them basically, um, I basically, made, you can make them whatever you want, but I feel like a six, uh, the six foot sniper is pretty good. Obviously, he's not going to be the strongest out there, but six foot sniper, 182 pounds, and then obviously you can do shoot left or right. I think left is the best. You can see his stats. The, the worst part about his stats are, he's got a good shooting category. Like, look at his stats. So he's got 83 wrist shot accuracy, 87 wrist shot power. He's got 92 slap shot accuracy, 93 slap shot power. He's got 83, like his 90 puck control. So he's got good shooting stats for him. Obviously, his um, body checking and his strength is horrible. His strength is 74. He's going to get knocked off the puck a lot. But that's just like, he's going to get knocked off the puck, but it's still a good build. So the traits I have, I'm actually max level in this game, level 16. Um, currently in the beta, but I think Beast Mode 2 is easily the best, um, best thing in, in, in the game. So obviously, Beast Mode 2. Um, in the actual game, I would use Beast Mode 1 over Beast Mode 2 because Beast Mode 1 gives you um, 3 points to your wrist shot accuracy. So if, the, uh, if you guys are watching this when the game actually comes out, I'd use Beast Mode 1. But for the beta, I'm using Beast Mode 2 uh, for this build. I have Booming Slapper on as my secondary trait just because I feel like your slap shots are really OP in this game. Especially if you're playing 3's Eliminator. I feel like if you're playing 3's Eliminator, the slap shot, you need to have this on. So I like to switch it with either Booming Slapper or I actually like to have, where is it? Um, I like to have, yeah, I'm trying to find it. Uh, I like to have Brute Strength. This is really good. Either that or Brute Strength. This just gives you more strength, more uh, durability when you're playing. I think this is really good if you're playing ones. If you're playing ones, I'd probably put Brute Strength over slap, uh, Booming Slapper. But if you're playing Threes Eliminator, maybe even ESH, I'll probably have uh, Booming Slapper. You can also put on... Uh, tight turns too, but I don't really think you need to upgrade the skin. You just really gotta upgrade um, Basically the the strength of this and obviously the speciality. Here's all of them uh, for offense I actually have um, Drive the net like I'll break them down. So marathon man I don't know if this is that good unless your build is really slow. You shouldn't be using marathon man It's not a good one loose puck deeks if you guys are really good into deking I, you guys can use this but again Deeks in this game are kind of weird. I still think doing deeks in this game is completely trash. Um, rebounds, uh, in slight increase to shooting from a rebound. If you guys want to do rebound cheese, you can do this, but I, I wouldn't really recommend it. Power play quarterback, again, you don't need to use this because there's no power play in this game. Um, drive the net is the best one because hot saucer, again, you don't need it. Like, easily drive the net is the best because you get an increase to puck skill. Whenever you go in backhand or something by the net, you get increased stats. For defense, uh, overall, for the best one for defense, in my opinion, is uh, Rubber Man. Rubber Man is the best one for defense. So I would either put on Rubber Man or Tight Turns. Not Tight Turns, pardon me. Rubber Man or Drive the Net. Maybe Rubber Man. But again, Rubber Man is really good if you're playing one, so uh, you uh, have a decrease to energy when you get hit. So this is the first build. The next build I have is really OP. This one is probably the best build in the game. Easily the best player build in the game. It's an enforcer. I know it looks like a bad build. You're probably like, this kid's dumb. If you guys are playing 1s or 3s Eliminator, I've literally been grinding 1s and 3s Eliminator. I have not tried this for EACHL, so maybe this is not the best build for EACHL. This is easily the best build if you're playing the Eliminator game, or either 3s or 1s. Because Enforcer, I chose Enforcer because, man, he's 6'8". I made him 6'8". The max height you can go is actually 6'9". I decided to go 6'8", just because I don't want to give up too much speed. So I've got 6'8 Enforcer. You can see his shooting stats are actually pretty decent. His slap shot... Stats are pretty damn good. Um, again, strength is really good. He's got freaking great body checking at 83. His speed 78, not the best, but still, like 225 pounds. This guy will literally body you. He this enforcer build is really good at shooting, really good at bodying people. 
I like this build a lot because you're not going to get hit that much. I have Booming Slapper 2 as my uh, primary trait, but you can actually honestly switch this. Like, I wouldn't even, like, I think another good one would probably be um, Quick Step 2. I feel like Quick Step 2 is a good one for this. Quick Step 2 or even Core Balance. I think quick. if you guys want to use this build and you want to increase a bit more speed, you can use Quick Step 2. Quick Step is pretty damn good. But other than that, I really do like this build a lot, in my opinion. Obviously, for the secondary trait, I got a uh, quick Rister. I don't feel like I need to have, um, you know, Beast Mode activate. Maybe I can use Beast Mode. I mean, Beast Mode will pretty much increase only the Puck Control, and the Puck Control is pretty decent right now, so I don't think I need to increase that. And then, obviously, the speciality is Drive the Net. The reason why I have Drive the Net is because I want to get increased Puck Control whenever I'm going by the Net, and this is a big build, meaning he's a lot slower. Definitely think that's good. Again, I don't need any of these big, big builds. Like, I don't need... I don't need back skating. I don't need rubber man or quick defensive stick. So obviously, think if you're using the enforcer, drive the net is the best build. So the third build, I actually, I've actually not made this build. We're gonna make this third build live for you guys. So this third build, I'm gonna make it live for you guys. This third build is really good. So it's a two way forward, two way forward, six three, two way forward, a hundred and ninety, a hundred and eighty five pounds and shoots left so I'll explain why this builds really good so 2 way forward you're 6 3 so you're pretty tall you can still hit 185 to increase your speed to 84 83 83 your body checking is 71 which is horrible i know that but just wait so obviously the primary trait we're gonna actually have here um where's the primary trait so the primary trait we're gonna have um if i can actually find it we're gonna have brute strength at, as our primary uh primary trait number one our secondary primary trait we're gonna have for this is going to basically be uh you guys can like the, the good second one would be in my opinion either doing um core balance i feel like the second one you should go something more offense maybe quick rister too so quick rister too you got a sick uh, shooting category you got a good amount of strength and obviously for the speciality i would honestly have rubber man then this build is really OP. You guys can see your athleticism is super overpowered. Your offense is good. The only thing that hurts is having the 71 body checking. If you guys play EACHL, this, in my opinion, is the best build for EACHL. Not so much for the Eliminator game modes. Um, it's still really good for Eliminator. The only downside of this build, I guess, is it's probably, out of all three of them, I think this might be the second best one. Uh, the best build is the Enforcer one. This is probably second. The Sniper is probably third. But the, the, the only problem I really have with this build is the body checking is not the best. You're not going to be able to lay out hits, but you still have pretty good strength at 83 because of brute strength too. So it's a really great build. You got great brute strength. So you're not going to get hit. You're not going to get absolutely destroyed out there. You got a quick, great wrist shot so you can still score. If you don't want to do wrist shot, honestly, like another good thing is maybe doing dirty dangle. Um, Dirty Dangle is pretty damn good to do if you guys want to dangle or, or even Beast Mode. So Beast Mode, if you guys do Beast Mode, your shooting does hurt a bit. I would ra I would rather have obviously Quick Rister on because I think that's just better and obviously Rubber Man to protect you for your strength and stuff. So this build is probably the second best build. It's really good. And if you guys don't, if you guys could, you guys could increase his weight. But I just think like 185 is perfect for his weight because he got really good uh, speed and stuff. So this, these are the three. Um, I would say the three best builds in the game. Um, these are easily the three best builds in the game. Obviously, I can't do five. I would do more. But these are the top three builds. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, man, it will be amazing. If you guys can, again, drop that like button. Going for 50 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Because we make the best NHL content here on YouTube. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Great from those debuts.